Dawn broke as it did every morning, signaling the start of a new weekday. Today was particularly beautiful, and the only thing that disturbed it was the agonized scream of one poor camper as his world crumbled around him. Why did you bring me here? Julius cried. I could be warm and comfortable at home in my own bed, but instead I'm stuck here, sleeping on the cold, hard ground. His father grinned at him. Ah, oh, yes. Nothing like a camping trip for quality family bonding. <laughs> right. Family bonding, Julius said. Just how am I supposed to survive without all my stuff? My hair products? My body glitter? My full body mirror? How? Oh, how can I look my most fabulous without them? Uh <coughs> Julius squawked in pain as someone hit him over the head with a stick. How about I dunk you in the lake? Julius turned and snatched the stick from his sister. Maya, how could you? My hair, my hair is ruined. Is, is that mud? Curse you, nature. Curse you, camping. Maya snatched the stick back from her brother. Stupid brother. How could you not love camping? It's only the greatest thing ever invented by our caveman forefathers. <sighs> if only we could always live like that. The sun in the sky, the trees placed perfectly around the lake to provide maximum shade and coolness. And a roaring fire keeping everyone warm. Besides, it's not like this is a cheap place to camp. They've got a water fountain for crying out loud. This place is... Ah! Maya stared, horrified at the people in front of her. Those, those fiends! What are they doing to that tree? Maya shrieked. Leave them alone, Maya, Julius said. They're probably just going to use that tree to make books. All books originate from trees, you know. Besides, you like books, don't you? So I don't see what the problem is. Maya turned on her brother. Would you stop talking and do something already? Julius looked at his sister and shrugged. Nah, don't wanna. Julius laughed, then put a sympathetic hand on his sister's shoulder. Look, there's nothing you can do about it, so why don't we just go for a swim and try and calm down? <sighs> yeah, I guess. But where can I get changed? Don't worry, I've got the perfect thing. You just stand right inside there and... Ta-da! Portable change room. I'm not getting changed in here, Maya said. Julius turned to her in disbelief. <laughs> why not? Because, dear brother, half of it is missing. You can't expect a girl to get changed under these conditions. Julius laughed. Pfft, idiot. You just have to pull the curtains closed. See? Maya glared at her brother, then pulled the curtains closed. When she was done, she rushed out, ready to face the lake. Ta-da! She posed. All right, lake. Better watch out, cause I'm coming. Julius watched his sister as she walked away. Dad... Are you sure that girl's human? He asked. Hey, Maya called from the wharf. Watch me dive. You watching? She turned and took a deep breath, preparing to jump. One second I'm above the water, and the next... Eh. There was a large cracking sound, and Maya felt the wharf disappear beneath her. For one brief moment, she felt like she was flying, but all too soon she found herself under the water, the wharf returning to normal above her head. And now she's gone, Julia said. I suppose I should give her a grave marker. Hmm. She loved the earth, so I'll put it here and it'll say, Here lies Maya, daughter of the earth and beloved sister, fell through the wharf. Suddenly, Julius felt a menacing presence appear behind him. Why, dear sister, you survived. What a glorious day. Say, did you know you can pan for gold here? I'm gonna go check it out while you dry off. Bye! Not. So. Fast. Maya grabbed her brother, who screamed as she dragged him away. That night, as the family relaxed by the fire, Maya sighed. <sighs> it's been such a wonderful day, don't you think? She looked at her brother, who was massaging the new lump on his head. Oh yes, absolutely perfect in every way. <laughs> Nothing odd about this place at all. Maya sat up and looked at her brother. Why would you say that? she asked. Julius glanced at her, then rolled over to go to sleep. Never mind, he yawned. With that, Julius closed his eyes and fell asleep.
the light of the moon reflecting off his sister's eyes as she stared confused into the night.